I'm Nate Murphy and I have literally just bought this van to show you how to build a van. We have made a really detailed course which will help you go from this to this. You will learn everything you need. We help you specify your electrical system and you'll be able to access a community all building their own vans at the same time. Hi, my name is Charity, owner of Wheels of Life Vans in Littleton, Colorado. This is a video tour of Luna, our first build out. She is a 2020 170 inch wheelbase Mercedes Sprinter. So I started van life journey back in 2019 uh, when I realized how expensive Colorado living was. And I got a used ProMaster at the time built out by another company and lived in that for the winter of 2019 to 2020. And then COVID hit and I didn't have a shower in my van. So I moved into an apartment and started renting out my van on Outdoorsy. And it did so well that I got another van built out by another company and uh, started renting that one out. And I was just a little disappointed with both companies and the lack of quality service, lack of education. And so that's what sparked me to start my own van conversion company. So I sold those first two vans and started Wheels of Life Vans. The layout in here is a drive for, sleep for model layout. And we also have a countertop extension, which you can do some work on and can also be extra space for cooking and preparing meals. And it's magnetized to the cabinet so that it doesn't rattle when you're going down the road. So this second row seat also comes out of the mounts which are bolted through uh, the floor so it's DOT approved and there's anchors on it as well. We have a lot of guests that put their uh, kids car seats in here and perfectly safe. So right above the countertop extension we have the controls for the S-Bar air heater the blower, it lives right under the passenger seat, so it blows hot air to the whole cab. The controls right next to that is the controls for the on-demand hot water for both the sink and the shower. So one thing that was important to us in all of our builds was not having to use propane. So for cooking, we have a double burner induction cooktop stove that you can plug in to the outlets, and it runs off the inverter. Then there's pots, pans, silverware. Moving on to this raised butcher block countertop. And underneath here, you've got a 4.5 cubic foot freezer and fridge that can fit up to two weeks worth of groceries. So right behind the second row seating, we have our sink and butcher block cover uh, for the sink. This is also a cutting board. And we have on-demand hot water from the hydro heater from S-Bar. And that also runs hot water to the shower. And it's a 20 gallon freshwater tank that lives under the storage bench seating. And then there's a gray water tank that is mounted on the exterior um, below the van. We didn't want a permanent fixed shower because you only use it every so often. Every square inch in a van is precious real estate. So we wanted countertop space during the day and then a shower whenever we needed one. Here's the shower. The cassette toilet lives in here as well, and that kids is movable, so you can move that out before you shower. In order to sleep for full grown adults, we have a motorized bed lift system, and the bed is on a track, and with the push of a button, this bed goes all the way up to the ceiling and creates the new ceiling underneath. And during the day, you can have a living room space, workspace area, dining room space, uh, and that also converts into a bed as well. 
and you can stop this at any point to create that bunk bed style. So you could probably fit about six or so people back here and we have the lighting too underneath the bed and our mountainscape on the back doors. Underneath the bench seating on this side is all plumbing and freshwater tank and all of the bench seating on that area is electrical uh, hookups and batteries. So now I'm going to turn this bench seating area into a bed. Voila! Queen size bed, almost a king size. And here's the top bed. Now you have two queen beds for four full grown adults or um, some kiddos. Here we are again back in the van showing you the electrical system. We have two lithium batteries that are 200 amp hours each. And then we have a 3000 watt inverter and we have a solar charger. So we have 260 watt solar panels on the roof that charge up these batteries. They also charge off the alternator when the van is running and you're driving from place to place. So these three switches right here control the self winterizing heating system. And what I mean by that is we have nine volt, uh, heating cable that's wrapped around all of the plumbing. We also have a heating pad under the freshwater tank and a heating pad under the lithium batteries uh, so that in the dead of winter it keeps it all just warm enough so that it doesn't freeze. So in the back of the van this is where we fill up the freshwater tank. Here we've got an overflow pipe and the water gauge right here so you can see how full the 20 gallon freshwater tank is. And we have a hose in this storage cubby here an RV water filter. So you hook this up to any public water source. So most truck stops and RV parks will have public water spigots where you can go to fill up. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video tour. You could actually rent Luna for your next trip. Uh, check out the website below and come say hi. If you're ever in the Denver area, we're in Littleton. Come check us out. You could also check out our model layouts that we can build for you. Uh, and we also do custom builds as well. You may have noticed that you can buy our ebook. Our ebook shows you how to build a van conversion. It has 190 pages of text, diagram, and images showing you various options or various systems. It also comes with 25 videos that show you hands-on how to do many parts of building a van. Also, coming out soon, we have a course. The course releases in December. And if you sign up now, you get early access and a discount. The course is really in depth. It shows you everything from how to use basic tools all the way through to doing your gas, your water and your electric installation. Not only that, but within the course, we support you hands-on in making your electrical specification. And you get to join a community of like-minded van builders who are building their vans at exactly the same time. Follow the links to find out more and thanks for watching.